what's going on guys? Dylan Tubi of the Soccer Essentials. Today I'm doing a defender tutorial, a little soccer tactics for you. But if you're an attacker, you better not turn this off or I'm gonna jump right through the screen and slap you in the face. Just because I want you to know the importance of defending, regardless of your position, if you can work to become a better defender, you can be such a better player, a more complete player, and a player that coaches are gonna want on their team. Okay, but this tutorial, I'm gonna focus specifically on defenders. Even if you're not a defender, watch this video because you're gonna learn a lot of good things. Now, the first thing I wanna talk about, we're gonna talk about from a defensive standpoint. Obviously, defenders have to be on the ball as well, but in this video, I wanna start by talking about team defending. Okay, so mainly we're just going to be focusing on these back four, right fullback, two center halves, and a left fullback out here. Okay, so the first key is distance. Now, when we're attacking, we want to get nice and wide, nice big gaps between the defenders so we can move the ball. Okay, nice and quickly, let the ball do the work. When defending, we want to come nice and tight, nice and narrow, because our goal is nice and narrow. Okay, if we can keep them to the outside, we can keep numbers in the middle, it's gonna be hard to break us down. Now, what I wanna talk mainly about here is shifting as a unit. So, normally the whole team should shift together, but we're just focusing on our back three, or our back four. So, let's say the ball's out here on the wing, okay? Now, first defender closest to the ball has to get out of here. We have to pressure, again, you don't wanna dive in, but you need to close the space quickly, otherwise we're gonna get hurt, okay? As this player shifts, everyone else has to shift, and honestly, we wanna split the field in about half. So this far fullback here should be about halfway down the field, okay? You don't, definitely don't wanna be out here. We don't wanna have big gaps like this, because this is where we're gonna get hurt. If we, everyone can shift, okay, we cut the field in half, this one goes to press. We almost make a back three here. Stay really tight. Here we're safe, okay? So we've closed down well. What's likely to happen is the ball will go into a playmaker here. They'll probably switch and they'll go out the other side. Now, as soon as this happens, we have to react. So the fullback's getting out there, closing down. Center halves are going across. This fullback's coming across to tuck in, okay? We're not worried about this guy. If this ball comes over the top, Again, we have enough time to react, everyone can get out, but we have to move together, okay? If we don't move together, that's where we'll get hurt. So think about that next time you're defending, keeping the distances short, okay? And we wanna to shift together as a unit. So what I wanna talk about here is specifically this one-on-one -on -one defending, but really you should never be doing one-on-one -on -one defending. You should always be helping each other to outnumber the opposition. If you always have more defenders than they have attackers, the odds are on our side. So let's stay in the habit of doing that. Okay, so here I wanna talk about pressing and covering, okay? So let's just make a little space just for a demonstration here. So let's say we got two defenders out here. One has to press the ball. We have to pressure him. We have to force him to make a decision, hopefully to go backwards or we win possession of the ball, okay? But the first player pressures. This supporting player, they're gonna cover, okay? So if this player gets beat, this player can come across here and cover, then this player will go in and fill his spot, okay? So we still have our back four here, okay? Just, let's do it again. So let's say the fullback comes out to press, he gets beat down the line, this center back comes across to cover, this fullback comes in to fill the center back's position, okay? Ball goes out to the other side. This guy comes to press, everyone shifts, but we got one specific cover. If he gets beat, cover there. This guy's coming back in to cover the defensive shape, okay? So think about that. One presses, one covers. If you're the player that's here, you wanna read, where's this guy going? Maybe he's trying to make a pass into here. If so, I can cover. Maybe he's trying to take him down the line. If so, I can cover and stop the play, okay? If you get beat, do not be lazy. What happens most times is when players get beat, they stop, they put their hands up, they say, oh, and they jog back slowly, okay? Not you, as soon as you get beat, if it happens, 
you're tracking back into the space, keeping your defensive shape, and then the same thing can happen again, right? If he gets beat, you cover him, he goes back in this way, okay? So think about that, pressing and covering. Now, next thing I want to talk about is pushing up as a unit, okay? So a lot of times, let's say the ball ends up up here, maybe there's a long ball played, okay? In most teams, amateur teams, the distance between the defenders, the midfielders, and the forwards is so big that it's nearly impossible to play short passes, short effective passes, okay? So just pushing up, everyone moving up as a unit, it starts with the defenders, okay? So as soon as the ball is played up into the other half, we have to get up. You cannot jog up. You want to you want to run up, okay? We're okay to leave these guys behind here because they're offside. If everyone gets up, and again, we stay as a unit, then we're good. Now the distances are short. If we need to, we can play these passes into here, okay? Everyone can work together, but we need to close these distances, okay? So if you are the center back, you are in control of this. You're the captain of this movement. You have to make sure that everyone's getting up. Okay, so the fullback should never be somewhere back here. If you're a fullback, make sure you're at least always in line, if not a bit ahead of your center backs. Okay, so when the ball is played up, let's get up quickly, let's join in, we'll support, especially the fullbacks have to get forward. We'll talk a little more about fullback play in a bit here. Okay, but do not jog forward, sprint forward. Sorry, you don't have to sprint forward, but quickly get forward. Force these players to stay offside. That's okay. We're okay with that. At least get to half, and that's where we set up. Okay, and that's where we keep our shape. Now, let's talk a little bit about offside trap because it's a, it's a confusing topic for most. Okay, but again, this starts with keeping your line. If we have one player that's here, he may keep everyone on side. You may keep this player on side. Okay, a ball's played through here. All these players have their hand up. They're saying offside, offside, but it was the far fullback that kept him on side. So you don't want to do that. So remember, always stay at least in line with your center backs. Okay? Now, the other key is everyone has to be together if we want this offside trap to work. Okay? If we're staggered like this, this is never going to work. Okay? They're going to be able to play in. And we're going to get beat. So everyone, when you're a defender, get your head on a swivel on the back line. See, am I in line with my center backs? Is the full back up? If someone's slacking back here, okay, there you are. If someone is slacking back here, you got to yell at them, okay? Especially as a center back. Make sure they're up here. Otherwise, it's going to be impossible to play that offside trap. Now, let's talk about when we have the ball, when we're in possession of the ball. Like I said in the beginning, we want to get really good width, okay? So... If the ball's in here at the center backs, we want to try to play out wide, okay? And mainly when we're moving around the back, let's say we're getting closed down well on each side. Just keep the ball moving. Nothing wrong with going around the back to touch, open up, receive, play, move, okay? This is going to force their team to have to shift, okay? Then they'll have to shift back. And eventually we're going to find some space to play into. Now, saying that, we want to keep the ball moving around the back. Okay, but as a good attacking team, what we're aiming to do is we really want to get into these players here. Okay, we want to play into the, our playmakers in the middle here. Okay, so if this player is on, play him the ball. If he's got a defender on it, ask for it back. Again, we'll move it. Maybe this guy will come in near. Play him the ball. If we can get a player on the ball here and he can get turned, that's exactly what we want because then we can play in and then we can attack on their goal, okay? So look for your playmakers. A lot of times, especially at the younger level, the defenders are scared to play these passes because they think they're gonna lose it. So what do they do? They just pump it over the top and hope for the best, okay? You need variations. Sometimes you need to go long. But if we can play in defeat, let's keep the ball, okay? These are the passes you wanna play. Again, if it's not on, play wide. Hopefully the fullbacks can combine with the wingers. Okay, and as a fullback, I really want to see you getting up and down this line all day long. Okay, nowadays you have to be as much an attacker as a defender. Okay, but this can be a very fun role to play, especially if you're very ambitious, you got good fitness, you can get up and down the line, we can get crosses into the box. Okay, you can be a very dangerous player for your team from the fullback position. Okay, 
Now, that's all I really wanted to talk about, really think about the distance between defenders. Remember, keep the distances short when we're defending. Get nice big width when we're attacking. Okay, when the ball comes, we're defending. Let's shift as a unit. Okay, everyone has to come. If one is lazy, we're going to get hurt. Okay, there's space for them to attack into here. Okay, so everyone has to come. Keep your distances short. One presses. One covers the space wherever this player is going to go. One will cover the space and read the play. Okay, try to anticipate where the ball, especially if you're the cover, anticipate where the ball is going. Don't react. Okay, because what most players do is they'll react. If you can anticipate before he even makes it, okay, we're going to make his life a lot more difficult. So try to read the play, especially if you're covering usually the center backs, but also the full backs as well. Okay, when you have possession of the ball, let's keep it moving, two touch, get nice big width, keep the ball moving, two touch, oh, keep the ball moving, two touch around the back, okay, but we want to look to play into our playmaker's feet as much as possible. If you can get the ball into here, okay, even if our playmaker's right here and he wants the ball, give him the ball because he's the playmaker, he's the one that's going to make the real passes, okay, you got to know your role as a defender. Okay, but if we can play into these players here, this is where we're going to get some good attacking opportunities and turn good possession into good attack. I hope you got something valuable from this. Please like, comment, favorite, and share it with your friends and teammates. We'll see you real soon.